I've bad news, it might be wet. <laughs> I'll take the rain any day of the week, <laughs> especially <laughs> when it's rain and not snow and ice, right. right? Yeah, today we saw some sunshine and some warmer temperatures, so that was nice. So there is Greensboro. Yeah, the Greensboro Parade is on Saturday at noon, and that's probably a good time of day over the weekend to have a parade. I do think it's going to be mainly dry for a large part of Saturday, and the temperatures are not too bad. Here's your Friday evening forecast. Wentworth, Mevin, Ashboro. We've got temperatures in the low 50s tomorrow. Lots of clouds. There will be some areas of rain, so make sure you have your rain gear no matter what day the parade is over the weekend as rain will be an option <laughs> because we're going to see occasional showers across the area. Now early on Saturday, we're looking at temperatures in the low 50s around 10 a.m. By noon, we're close to 60. The showers, I do think for the most part, are going to hold off. We're going to have to watch this warm front. If it gets close enough to us uh, early Saturday, we could have some light rain showers even in the morning and midday. Now for the late day hours, I think rain becomes a little bit more substantial, especially as the sun goes down and into Saturday night. Temperatures should peak in the low 60s and then drop off. And then for Sunday parades right now does look like it's pretty dry, but there will be at least a few showers that will come in. And right now those also look to be midday into afternoon. Temperatures will be in the low 60s. And yeah, we are talking about rain and not snow. Winter is 21 days away. We're getting ready to start December tomorrow, right? And looking ahead at that winter outlook, we are anticipating an El Nino winter, so that transition, which would bring us uh, colder than normal temperatures as well as wetter than normal conditions. It's usually warmer across the north during an El Nino season, and we usually get more frequent precipitation events across the south. So if we could get the cold air in here, you'd have more opportunities for at least some snow. It's not snow, but it's rain that we need right now. And you look at November's rainfall total, 1.63. Most of that coming on November 21st. Remember that one day we had about an inch and a half. We are about an inch and a half below normal for November and two inches below normal for the year. Our drought map has changed very little since last week, even though we had the rain. So still a large part of the area in that third stage of drought, which is severe drought. We have extreme drought a little farther to the south and west, and that's where we're getting the rains right now over parts of Louisiana, Arkansas, western Tennessee. There's also a chance for thunder in those areas, and that will continue over the deep south. Depending on that warm front on Saturday, we may have to add thunder to our forecast, so we'll watch that very closely. We encourage you to tune back in tomorrow. We'll get a little closer to this. Clouds are definitely coming in. That'll keep our temperatures up overnight. We're in the 40s right now. I'm anticipating some 30s as we start tomorrow morning should be safely above freezing. We do have a chance for at least a little light rain around in the morning, especially the farther west you are. And a lot of this is not showing measurable rain because I don't anticipate that we're going to get much measurable rain. It will likely be patchy light rain or drizzle that we see tomorrow and some scattered showers kind of passing through in the afternoon. High temperatures 52 tomorrow in the triad. For the foothills, we're only going to get to about 51 or so because of the clouds and that chance for rain and in the mountains we've got temperatures in the mid to upper 40s by late tomorrow and a better chance of rain the farther west you are. There's your seven day forecast beyond the weekend. We have another cool blast of air coming in by the middle part of next week.